John Robert Smith with Reconnecting America, the Center for Transit-Oriented Development, and the Campaign of Transportation for America. But before taking these titles, I was mayor of my hometown of Meridian, Mississippi, for 16 years. Uh, we did one of the very first transit-oriented development projects that was very successful in a small city in this country about 15 years ago. Uh, had been engaged in passenger rail debate at all levels, including time as chairman of the board of Amtrak. I am now in D.C. though because I believe we're at a critical juncture for the transportation authorization for this country. And we'll either get it right in my generation or we'll lose it for my grandson's generation. Uh, I believe that this is one argument in Washington that should not be partisan. Transportation is both a Republican and a Democrat agenda. It's a public works project. It's putting our people to work. It's connecting our people. And it's not a big city, small city fight. It's not an urban, rural fight. Because transportation is one common thing that we all share and is critically important to the resurgence of our communities, not just the metropolitan areas, but the smaller cities of this country. Um, that's why the voice from our smaller, considered rural areas that are still, still uh, centered around urban hubs will be important to be heard at the national level. Um, that conversation, that uh, dialogue must be held uh, in Congress, especially in the Senate, that it's good for big city, small city, rural, urban alike. Uh, I think we're making that argument. Uh, I was in a meeting today with a number of elected officials and developers, most from third and fourth tier uh, cities in population size, but they understand the critical importance of the investment in transportation to create the dynamic futures for their city centers, for their hometowns.